Hey, rank 8 US now. Let's go. So let's see what his Zoe runes are because I'm quite interested in knowing. Okay, so at least he has minion D-Mat and time of tonic. That's good. But I don't know why people go electrocute. I know a lot of high elo players do that, but uh, I feel like the domination tree is just shit. Taste of Blood got nerfed. Treasure Hunter is kind of meh in a lot of games. I don't know, Zoe is not even about the items, no? Zoe... <laughs> Q scales of level... Um, and then you, you miss out on so much. Look his tree, with like eyeball collection, taste of blood and treasure hunter. And then look my tree. Right? Where do I see it? Look my tree. I have first strike, which deals two damage, which means that I can, uh, I can even one shot a bit um, healthier targets or like uh, targets with magic resistance. I have hex flash, which is completely broken, uh, making me uh, find new angles, uh, disengaging, juking, uh, hard engaging on low opponents, wall jumping for roams, everything. Uh, proking my W as well, so having good trades as well. Min D-Mat and Time Out Tonic is the same, but then additionally, instead of fucking Eyeball Collection, which is just damage, here I get a Nimbus Cloak, where I just zoom around the map and have a very good um, reposition repositioning in team fights. And yeah, I mean, Scorch is also way more damage, I think. In a, in a one-tap scenario, I think I have more damage with Scorch than I would have with Eyeball Collection. Plus, I don't have to stack it. I uh, don't know. People just take weird runes for Zoya, I feel like. They don't really think about what runes are good, they just pick whatever runes other players take. Look at my Taric rank. Sure. What's your Taric rank? Ooh, it's rank 1 EO West. Nice. Nice man. I don't think I will make a YouTube video of it. Sadly, because I, I don't know, I played shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could, I could. If you want, I can. I like uh, playing alongside rank 1 Tarek Eo West, but I have so many other uh, videos coming up. So there's like, I don't know, there's just so much to edit. But yeah, well played, man. Well played. Very good. Very good. 65% win rate. That's crazy. Let me flex with my uh, my uh, achievements from last seasons. Mm. I was playing Dark Harvest, but right now I'm playing with Electrocute. I mean, Dark House and Electrocute are both great runes, but the rest of the tree just sucks. That's the problem. You don't really get a lot of value from the other runes. The, the key mastery, the, 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 the key runes are not really the problem, in my opinion. Electrocute is probably even better than, than uh, Summon Ari and the First Strike, but the, the trees, the other runes that you get are just so valuable. One thing he always said to me when I played with uh, his Syndra was to always build mercs. Yeah, I know that m uh, mercs are very good. Especially this game, it would have been probably good because we have uh, we have the Diana and Syndra both as AP, so getting mercs would be great if you're looking to not die. But in this game, I feel I mean against Ash ult as well. I feel uh, maybe maybe it, maybe I built wrong. But I had the right money for the Ionian boots, and therefore I just went for it. The summoner spell haste is just very great, and the ability haste is also great for like setting up stuff. I should have not gone Shadow Flame. I should have just rushed the uh, Horizon Focus instead first, and then maybe Azonias. That would, that would have been the better item build for this game. I kind of fucked it up, but it's fine. It's not, this is not really the build you want to go. You want to choose between Horizon Focus and Shadow Flame usually. But I built both. 
because I built this first and then I realized that I probably should build Horizon Focus. So this was a this was a mistake. I don't ever like Dark Harvest unless I'm playing uh, FFG. I don't know what's, what FFG is. Oh, for fun game, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great for low elo, I think, where the games are so long and like stomping. It's very fun. You have very low cooldown on your one shots. And then I built uh, Lich Bane as well, and then I just killed them with auto attacks and Dark Harvest. <laughs> I play blue, blue one, who makes your rig? Cover cooldowns when you kill, this uh, gives you extra damage. Yeah, the, the, the blue tree is also very great. So, in my opinion, the two, two rune sites that you can go right now is either the summon airy build, where you go for the Nimbus Cloak, get the Transcendent, which is very great, and the Scorch. Or in harder matchups where you don't win lane, you can also go for the Gathering Storm instead. Or in matchups where you where your jungler is something like a Nidalee or Elise or Rek'Sai, where they will invade a lot, then you can go for Water Walking as well if you want. But usually these two are a bit more efficient. And then uh, for this tree, if you do if you go this, you can still go Hex Flash, and then you have to choose between Minion Demet and Time of Tonic and Cosmic Insight. So all th these three are the the best runes in this tree. For sure. So usually Mini Demetrializer has a lot of value and then uh, against uh, tanky enemies I would try to go for Cosmic Insight so I can go Doans and not get one shot and against poke matchups like the Syndra, Velkos and stuff like that there you can probably just go Time Optonic and uh, take Corruption Potion with that. And then the second tree which I right now like more uh, is First Strike. Because then you can uh, go for Hex Flash and Mini and, and Minion Demetrializer and uh, one of these runes, so you don't have to miss out on one of these very powerful runes. And then here you can still choose between Nimbus Cloak and Scorch, or Nimbus Cloak and uh, Transcendence, or Nimbus Cloak and uh, Gathering Storm. Mm, and I don't, I don't think that you should miss out on Nimbus Cloak. I know a lot of high elo players, they will go for Mana Flow Band and then something like this or so. But this is shit, in my opinion. Don't don't go Mana Flow, the Nimbus Cloak is just way better. You have enough mana through the uh, Lost Chapter anyways. And then you have the um, have the blue buffs later on, so yeah, I don't know. And, and then as well, the mana issues uh, are not really there with Zoe, so don't go for Mana Flow Band, man. It's just so bad. Just so bad. <laughs> you had big, big balls not to build mercs into Syndra confidence. Yeah, it is like uh, it's not confidence. It's like uh, who cares if I die, right? As long as I can set up my team and having lower cool. It's like uh, yeah, it's like a ballsy move, I guess. Yeah, not really a KDA player move. I love Nimbus Cloak, but I don't like the mana issues. So the way that you can uh, prevent the mana issues is by just having very efficient wave clear and uh, clearing the minions with our attacks more. So have a little bit of domination in the lane, zone the enemy, try to uh, try to only hit the enemy with the abilities while you farm with your um, with your auto attacks. If you, if you throw your abilities into the wave every single time and you don't know when to push and get pressure, then uh, most of the times you'll be oom um, and then you have to force bad recall and then the enemy gets, gets prior. So mana management is very important if you miss out on the on the mana flow band. But yeah, I don't know it. I don't need it. Especially if you have mana struggles, then I would say just go time up tonic and go for the corruption potion because then you have enough mana. So you don't even have to uh, go for mana flow. So I always take ma <laughs> take mana flow band because I miss all my skills like a noob. I mean, yeah. Aries good versus melee champions. Yeah, it is. I feel like uh, your one shot is lower in fights uh, unless you become very fat. Yeah, that's why. Uh, you should probably just go for uh, first strike instead because that's also very good against melees. Where you can make sure that you proc it before they can proc it because they have to jump on you and you can just auto attack or Q them before that happens. 
Uh, but then you also have the one shot potential later on. So I feel like I feel like Salmon Airy is uh, is only ever good if you really want to want the transcendence. If you go for like for like the cool direction Zoe that I just played, where you feel like you just want to set up your team, then you can for the can go for the uh, transcendence. But um, yeah, I feel like first strike is just way better right now. I was testing it. But I just have so much more uh, success with uh, first strike. I have mana problems. Uh, I go tier and at third item for Seraph. Okay, I didn't try out the new Seraphs on Zoe, but I feel like it's only good for battle mages where you actually where you actually proc the shield. With Zoe, it's like you're either full life or dead, right? And most of the times you're just full life if you play it correctly. So. I, I think you should not trade damage for a shield. I, I very rarely go for Zonias as well. So just building damage and just having good positioning is usually the way to go. Don't even start to build def defensively because you'll lack a lot of damage and you can't really carry. And then you also don't learn how to position correctly. And then you just sit in the middle and you're useless, but at least you don't die. But it's not very worth it, I would say. You have to deal damage. 